how many of you guys can remember what Gurumba is? Well, if you haven't, today we're going to be jogging your memory. Today we're going to be preparing Gurumba for you guys. This is an old recipe, Guyanese recipe, made with mangoes. And I just wanted to point out that Gurumba and mango curry is not the same thing. For this recipe, we're going to be using two mangoes. Now your mangoes, just use two medium-sized mangoes. It doesn't really matter what the weight is. Just two medium-sized mangoes. And the other ingredients is going to be enough for that. So we're going to be using some sugar as well. Some roasted ground jeera. One stick of cinnamon. We're going to be using some black pepper as well. And that's it. So let's begin, guys. Okay, so for gurumba, unlike mango curry, for gurumba your mango has to be half ripe. It cannot be green mangoes, okay? That's the difference in the gurumba from the mango curry, one of the differences, I must say. Right, so for your gurumba, your mangoes must be half ripe, alright? So we have two here, I'm gonna go cut these up here now. So of course when you're choosing your mangoes for your gurumba, guys, if you can, just don't choose, do not choose a very sour mango. The sweeter, the better. Right? So you will know that from your types of mango, like box and spice or whatever. Some are sweeter and some are more sour. So you're going to choose one that's on the sweeter side for this gurumba, right? So you don't have to add too much sugar to it. So for your mangoes, guys, you're going to quarter them. And then depending on how big they are, you can cut one of those pieces in two again like Molly is doing there. And that's the size you're going to be cooking there. So you're going to want to peel the mangoes as well guys. You have to remove the skin for gurumba, unlike mango curry. So your mangoes should be half ripe, shouldn't be ripe, it shouldn't be soft. The mango should still be firm like these here. So that's it, all cut up. Okay guys, so this is our mangoes here, all chopped. And this is the size we're going to be using here. So we're heating some vegetable cooking oil here to start our gurumba. So once this is heated here, we'll continue. So for gurumba guys, you need a heavy bottom pan. So your karahi would be the perfect thing to cook this in. So oil is hot here now. And as you've seen, we've brought in the professional here, Molly's mom. To make the gurumba here. So first she's going to add the roasted ground jeera there. In our hot oil. Okay, so now you're gonna add your sugar here. And you're gonna mix those in together. Now you're going to add your mangoes here. And she's going to add the stick of cinnamon there that she's broken in two pieces. Now that's smelling real good guys. Smelling like it's ready to eat already. So 
So this is like a bonje here guys. So you're gonna let everything marry together there, the mango, the roasted ground jira, the sugar and everything. And it's gonna create this thick goodness in there. So you're starting out here with a medium heat. Alright, because you want this to get going. You start occasionally for the three, four minutes. So you're gonna have it on here. Before we're gonna add some water here. Okay, so this has been about three minutes, three, four minutes. And as you see, it has thickened a bit there. So now you're gonna add your water here. So in certain parts of Guyana, guys, there's Gorumba is still a popular dish being cooked often so we're gonna add a pinch of black pepper there gonna give that a mix okay guys so after you've added your water here now you're gonna set your stove to low and let it simmer here all right So she added a bit more water there guys. And now we're gonna let this continue to simmer until your mangoes are cooked, boiled. And this of course evaporates. You should cover this here for the simmering process, okay? So she's gonna cover this now and let it simmer. Okay, so this is about seven, eight minutes of simmering here and uh, we've tasted this here and it needs some more sugar sometimes that'll happen it depends on how sweet or sour your mango turns out to be so in this case we need to add some more sugar so you're gonna taste yours and see if you need to add any more right So that's coming along nicely there. As you can see the mangoes have softened a lot. Okay, so we're gonna cover this back now and let it continue to simmer, okay? Okay my friends, so after we added the extra sugar there that was about seven eight minutes we gave this another two minutes here and this is now done so we're going to show you what it looks like here and that's the consistency it should be right down and when it cools it's going to get a bit thicker right so that'll be that's going to be perfect so all the mangoes as you can see has almost melted there and that's what you want so our gurumba is ready my friends okay guys so our gurumba has cooled off here now and this is what it looks like here as you can see it has thickened quite a bit and this is the way it should be this gurumba here goes with mainly oil roti a lot of people like to have this with oil roti but of course you can have this with whatever you like okay so here it is guys Gurumba if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do also please click the bell next to the subscribe button which allows you to get instant notifications please share this video also as that helps us out a lot and as always thanks a lot for watching guys take care Bye.